Let's talk football. Week five. The Carolina Panthers versus the Detroit Lions. Mm. Let's get to it. I appreciate y'all checking in. Remember to like, comment, share this video. Please subscribe. I'm trying to Trying to make this a thing. And it's going to get better. It's going to get better. It's, most of the time I'm doing these late at night. My kids are sleeping, so I have to keep it down so they don't wake up. But anyway, let's get to it. First half. Now, the Panthers did something that I've been wanting them to do for a long time. Well, this season. Be aggressive. Be aggressive. That's all. Be aggressive. That's how. That's how we're gonna win. Now, the first thing with, with beginning of the game, they were aggressive because they won the coin toss and they elected to receive. Normally, this day and age, in the NFL, college football, if you win the coin toss, normally they will defer. They elected to receive. Now, the Panthers were already behind the eight ball being 0-4. Now, they got the ball. And even though they didn't come up with a touchdown, I still appreciated the aggression. Yeah. So after their first drive, the Lions get the ball and they score. Made it look easy. I mean, yeah. Bryce Young he threw another interception on a uh, on a tight end screen. Now, I don't put that on Bryce Young. They shouldn't have been running the play to Ian Thomas in the first place of all people. That's just say that. I'm going to say that. They should have never ran that play anyway to Ian Thomas. They We got Hayden Hurst, which in my opinion, better than Ian Thomas. I'm pretty sure a lot of people will agree with that. And then on the Lions' second drive, they continue to make it look easy. Scored another touchdown. Where is the defense besides hurt? I guess that's, I guess I just answered my own question. I guess I answered my own question. Um, also, we, uh, we saw Chandler Zavala get injured and it didn't look good. I'm glad, I'm glad he's okay. Uh, it didn't look good at first, but they, uh, they rolled him off the field. Um, he gave the thumbs up, so, so I'm glad he's good. Um, and then, uh, uh, by the end of the uh, game, they said that he had all movement in his all in his extremities and he was alert. So that was good. Um, uh, I hope he gets well soon. Um, let me talk some about Miles Sanders. Now, Miles Sanders, um, this guy came from the Eagles, and the Eagles were in the Super Bowl last year, or this year. I, I think he needs to be benched. Um, you know, it's, it's a lot of these players that just came in I had high hopes about, and they really ain't show me much. The only person that has is Adam Thielen, and that was expected, and he's shown up. In my opinion, everybody else, I mean, it could be, it could be the coaching. It could be the play calling, but bench smile Sanders. This man missed a big hole. This man missed 
a big hole that he could have just ran through, untouched, possibly. I mean, his vision, worse than mine. I mean, jeez. And then, when we were beginning to make, when we, we were on a drive, beginning to make a comeback, what does he do? Fumble. He fumbles the ball. And of course, seven points off of that turnover. <sighs> Mm. I mean, the mistakes, the mistakes. And then after that, Bryce Young throws another interception. Now, this interception was completely his fault, 100% his fault. I can't even defend him on that one. Turnovers. This is two interceptions already. And a lost fumble in the first half. And then um, it was like five minutes to go in the second quarter. My TV froze like from five minutes to halftime. I didn't see anything. I just know they got a field goal. So 28-10 at halftime. This is, this is pitiful. Carolina had 54 rushing yards, 120 passing yards, 174 total. Two interceptions, one lost fumble. The only good thing about that, about the first half, is that the O-line has not allowed any sacks yet. Detroit had 70 rush yards, 143 passing yards, and 213 total yards. And get this, no turnovers. Second half. Second half. Now, this is, it's, it's 28-10. We got a lot of football to go. So, I'm thinking we have a chance. Now, of course, we don't get the ball. They get the ball. Brian Burns, at this point, have been quiet all game. Until midway through the third quarter, he gets a sack. Now, I was all about... Pay Brian Burns, pay Brian Burns. But this man hasn't really done anything. And I, and I said at the beginning, uh, well, you know, first had to bench Miles Sanders. Let me tell you something. Chenault, he was running the ball better than Sanders was. He probably had more rush. I didn't look at the stats, but he probably had more rush yards than Sanders did. And then in the third quarter... And then in the third quarter, the Lions completely controlled the third quarter and ate the clock. The Panthers only had one possession in the third quarter, and the Lions had two. And then they ended up scoring on the first play of the fourth quarter. They completely, they completely controlled the third quarter. We had one possession out of 15 minutes. We had one possession in the third quarter, and they had two. That means the defense, I know the defense was tired. And I'm pretty sure the offense wasn't on the field that long. And the offensive line didn't give up any sacks in the first half. But in the second half, Bryce Young was completely getting destroyed. He had one sack, uh, Detroit had one sack, but Bryce Young kept getting hit over and over and over again. And finally, finally, the game was over. The Panthers lost 24 to 42. The Panthers ended with 99 rush yards, 243 passing yards, total 342. Still had two interceptions, one lost fumble. Detroit had 159 rushing yards, 218 passing yards, 377 total. And get this, no turnovers. 
Now, I saw a tweet that I agree with while I was, I think it was after the game. I saw this tweet and the tweet read, Bryce has thrown three touchdowns today. Let Bryce be a quarterback, not a screen merchant. Exactly. He threw three touchdowns. All those conservative plays and screens and and all at the end of the game, when it was too late, he was turning to lose. That that's what he needed to be doing all game. At least 80% of the game. Now, I, they showed another another uh, uh, graphic or whatever stat, whatever you want to call it, during the game. And this, and it's, I mean, you know, it, it gives me a little more hope for the future. Because, honestly, I don't think all of this is on Bryce Young. It's, it's the O-line, play calling, coaching. It's just when all that's failing, it's making Bryce look bad, too. I mean, I completely believe no matter who's back there at quarterback, if the whole line can't block, you're not you're not going to you're not going to do your job to the best of your ability when you're always constantly under pressure. Always. I've seen it. And it just makes the quarterback look bad because the quarterback's going to make bad decisions because he's being pressured and he's being rushed. So, and seeing, you know, all these Hall of Famers and these future Hall of Famers starting bad in their, you know, their rookie years, it it gives me hope. For Bryce Young, and I, I really, it like I said, I don't care. It doesn't matter who. It could have been C.J. Stroud, it could have been Anthony Richardson, it could have been anybody. No matter who we would have got, if this O line would have been like how it is, that would have been same thing. So they showed started O and three or worse. They showed Terry Bradshaw. Zero and three, zero touchdowns, five interceptions. Peyton Manning, zero and four. Three touchdowns, 11 interceptions. Eli Manning, 0 and six, three touchdowns, eight interceptions. Jared Goff, 0 and seven, five touchdowns, seven interceptions. Troy Aikman, 0 and 11, nine touchdowns. In 18 interceptions. I mean, with with that right there, and seeing where Terry Bradshaw, Peyton Manning, Eli, Troy Aikman, and Jerry Goff will be there, seeing where they are now, you know, Troy Aikman got Super Bowls, Eli, Peyton, I think Bradshaw does, Terry Bradshaw. I'm not really sure. I think he does. But, you know, it's it's the rookie year for for Bryce. And he's still he's still gonna have a lot of growing pains. He's still gonna he's still got a lot to learn. He's still uh you know still got to get comfortable with the NFL, you know. But I'm not I'm not giving up on I'm not giving up on yeah. I didn't I didn't give up on Matt Rule after the first year. It's probably right around the third. Somewhere around there. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Maybe. No, I think it was the second year. After the second year, I was like, okay, nothing's changed. So. But I think. I think I'll give Bryce a, a more time. The Saints won, of course. The Falcons won, of course. And the Bucks were on a bye. So. We're way behind the eight ball now. I mean, we were behind the eight ball before. Now, now, way behind. 
Next week is coming up Sunday. Lord have mercy. We got the Dolphins. Now, the Dolphins. The number one, the million dollar question that I have is not if we're going to win because they're going to lose. On paper, the Panthers are projected to lose. I don't even think, I don't, probably a hundred percent chance they're going to lose. I mean, I'm just, just being honest from what I've seen. Oh, and five. So the million dollar question that I have is who will be guarding Tyreek Hill? Lord knows. I hope it's not CJ Henderson. Shaq is hurt. Horn is hurt. Dante Jackson, I'm pretty sure he's hurt. Who's going to be out there guarding? Tyreek Hill. I guess we'll see. I'm interested in seeing how this game is going to go. Because I just, in, in my, and I don't want this to happen at all. But in my heart of hearts, it's looking like it's going to be a blowout. So, we're going to keep our heads up. And we're going to have faith that everything will work out. And we're going to keep pounding. I'm up early, get my hands dirty. Gotta make that long drive. Punch the clock around 7.30, then getting off around 5. Overtime on weekends, now I'm starting to feel a little sleep deprived. But you gotta do what you gotta do in order to survive. Knocked down, but didn't stay down. Ten toes, never laid down. What them haters gotta say now? Yeah, I'm on my way.